Wow, we're touching legs already. <laughs> I fucking hate like intros, like in general. You know? So I just Yeah, I mean you could you could do like um you could do like da 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 the middle let me get to the middle of the room here so um my name originated from my character that i created back in 2004 from the game runescape and it used to be jakey 455 so i just kind of simply removed the 455 replaced the a with a four because i'm a elite gamer and i always get that bread yo um i'm also young and hip like the cool kids and uh oh. Yeah, so that's that's how I. I mean, plus it originates from my name, so it's lame. But <laughs> I remember you saying like ages ago, like the four K, because you do four K textures and eight K textures and whatever K. That you know, that so. was just a coincidence. That's just cool, a though. coincidence. That's cool, though, was, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, it works. That's a good coincidence. J four K. Yeah, that's cool though. Yeah, <laughs> we're a desktop Jakey. Um, actually, so funnily enough, I I watched a lot of content creators um for VR chat prior to playing the game. So the most I ever played a VR chat before I got my Vive was in Unity, actually. I uploaded and had a custom character already created before I ever started playing the game. Oh my god, and you are like, damn girl, you're making me miss me already. I, yeah, I, I know. No, there was never a desktop Jakey. Um, I, I think I've only ever done one desktop Jakey stream outside of just like a just chatting. Yeah. No, I like. Yeah, so. I never started with desktop, but like, I've, I've. It seems like people that start with VR like are more likely to do desktop streams. I don't know. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's that's what I figured out. Yeah. Shinna, uh, Shinikami. Whenever okay. they they were the ones that kind of introduced me to the trap part of okay. VR chat, and I was like, oh, this is something that I want to do. And I was like, I'll I'll create a voice and I'll go out and make people think that I'm a girl. And we'll get about that later. But um, he was someone who inspired me. And then um, I was also very much inspired by uh, Nags, uh, Joey Bagels. Oh so <laughs> I watched a lot of his content too. So The day I meet him, I'm going to fall flat on the floor. Honestly. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, the, I'm, the, no worries. I'm the biggest Nags fanboy. I'm the, that's the only person that will ever make me fanboy over anyone. I don't fanboy. Oh anymore. really? I don't, I don't give a fuck about. Well, him, I got, so I got some, I got some good news for you. I can, I can probably get him to. You know, if you, if you, know, if you, if you, you want to do a I'll, hawks, if, hawks I'll, talk, I'll, I'll cream, I'll cream like all over the place. Sorry, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm, I'm unbelievable. <laughs> My... <laughs> We've established, uh, you know, Jakey, first time VR chat. Yes. We've come on VR chat. You've been inspired by multiple people. Where did Kinetic come into play? How did that happen? Um, so, funnily enough, um, if you can also check my Twitter, uh, this is true. Um, I have it in my about that I am the one and only person on the team who actually asked to be on Kinetic <laughs> and was accepted. Me and Joker talked about that. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I'm the only person to ask to be on the team to get on the team. So, um, but no, the way that that happened was um, in early May, I started hanging out. I met Force in Venerac, and I started hanging out with them a lot. And uh, Forceable has a weak spot for people who do voices and yeah. voice act. Yep. So, um, so it's kind of easy getting in there. And I'm like, hey, I do a girl voice. So, um, and no, it wasn't it wasn't that easy. But I, I grew closer to them, hanging out with them, becoming friends with them. And I asked Force, you know, all sliding into them DMs and being like, yo, Force, are uh, you looking for any new team members? Because, uh... Yeah, that could be me. Uh, it wasn't that sly, by the way. It was real upfront. And I was like, "Hey, do you? Can I join the team with Junkrat, Venerac, and you?" <laughs> oh and God. and then they uh, they talked to the team. They dragged me into the Discord call, like all, and they're like, "We got some bad news." And they're like, "You're on the team." And I was like, "Awesome." So <laughs> <laughs> bad news for them. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Um, I was just watching that clip the other day, actually. Uh, it was uh, still one of my favorites. So, um, the girl voice... So, I think, I think it's a long story. Um, in the beginning, I thought I just wanted to do it to troll people, and, like, I didn't, I didn't think anything else into it. Um, but, yeah, so I developed it to essentially troll people kind of like the way that i put it was that i was a jack of all trades for yeah. a streamer <laughs> you know i did the dancing i did like comfy mirror streams i did the voice trolling i did like random like pug stuff like yeah. i did everything that every other vr chat streamer did but all in one stream and that was kind of it wasn't the purpose but it was kind of funny because that's what like it's like Forrest was like why do you do a little bit of everything and i was like Ow. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that was that was kind of the idea. Um, and yeah, um, so I just developed it kind of to for like content reasons, but over time it became more and more natural. Yeah. And I would be in game and I'd be talking to Junkrat and I'd be talking to him in my girl voice. I'd be like, oh yeah, yada, yada, yada. And um, he's like, you know, he's like, are you streaming? And I was like, no. He's like, why are you still using the voice? And I was like, I don't know. And it just became, became every time I put on the headset, yeah, every time I put on my headset, I started using it. And then outside of that, I started using it in other games. If I didn't have a webcam on, I would use it and do this and that. And more so recently, now that I have a webcam on, the voice really fits the person. Um, yeah. So, oh, Is there a favorite moment in VR chat so far? Apart from meeting me? Ah, uh, a favorite... Well, let me tell you what. Um, one of my one of my favorite moments. Let's see. Um, so I have I have a I have a lot of moments I think made in this game that are absolutely incredible. From joining the team to um, getting in, like we we used to have parties, and we're we're bringing them back for us too. It's kind of like team things, but um, like every week we would celebrate something for each other and we would all like we had a point in time where five weekends in a row we all got shit faced from parties from it was the weekend that it was like bonfire got partnered junkrat got partnered <laughs> yeah, i, got I partnered, remember that 10, everyone, followers, everyone, yada, everyone. Yada, yada. it was crazy <laughs> yeah just kinetic kinetic yeah. partnered essentially just just put a check mark on the team we're good yeah. um <laughs> but but yeah so um but we were celebrating every every accomplishment we made those were like some of my favorite memories i think like yeah. just the funny stuff that we would get into and whatever it's it's fun um my favorite memory from those though is i think it was the second night or the first night that we did it and what happened was after we all got super drunk we then essentially released kinetic on the public of VR chat, and we all started joining a bunch of random public worlds, just intoxicated <laughs> and just being obnoxious. <laughs> like there was a, there was a, <laughs> there was a point where Forcible loaded in to the world, like he was standing, and then he loaded into the world, and he was just on the ground unconscious. Oh my <laughs> Like the time it took off. <laughs> <laughs> so we talked so much about Jakey in game. Of course, VR yes. chat is one of your hobbies. This is one of your hobbies. Probably become a job right now. Yeah. Right? But. Oh, yeah, has, yeah. I, I, I can understand. I can work. I, I can relate to the work that takes. But. What about Jakey outside the game? Have you got any hobbies that you like to do? Uh. Jakey outside the game? So, um. I actually don't do too much else. Like. So, a, a lot of what I do on stream. Uh, the reason why I do it is because I very much enjoy it. So typically they are my hobbies. So even though I do texturing in Unity for VR chat, you can usually like if you if you would randomly come into my house, okay, and I wasn't streaming, you could probably see me doing the same thing. I, I would be working on textures. I would be in graphic design, making a poster, making a T-shirt, something like that, you know, or like collaborating with someone to make something like that. Um, I do a lot of hanging out in the kinetic discord just talking and hanging yeah. out with friends which is essentially what i do in vr chat and you know i play a bunch of other games um a lot of the time it's a lot of that so i don't i don't do too much else um i recently kind of lost my job so yeah. i wasn't really needed so i was let go um 
And yeah, so here here we are today with streaming kind of being my full time job. I do like earlier, like one to three p.m. Eastern. Somewhere, somewhere is my start time, and then end time is in the air. And then I stay up all night, go to bed, and wake up and do it again. So that's, you know, kind of what I do. Oh man, I, I can't remember when I met you. It's actually months ago, like literally, like last year sometime. I February, I can March? I can tell you the Maybe? first. I um, I actually don't know. It was May. It might be May. Because the clip when I first met you was in May. Okay. Because I met uh, you when you were hanging out with Forcible. Yeah. And it was like yeah. around the beginning of May. Yeah, at that point, I, I, only knew, I only knew K's, Forcible, and Venerak. But Junkrat, I mm -hmm. actually like. I, I met you and Junkrat kind of around the same time, actually. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. 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 No, yeah, time zones kind of fucked that up. You know, I definitely be, would have been speaking yeah. to you guys a bit more. <laughs> no, but um, what was, yeah, your, what was I your first? Understand. What was your first impression of me? Well, my first impression of you, I think it's, I think it's pretty obvious how I felt in the situation. I was, I was in it to fool you. I was in it to get you to love me and then let you know that your love was a ruse. <laughs> And guess what? That didn't happen, and we fell in love with each other and lived happily ever after and I still in came this back. wonderful relationship that we have with I still one came another. Back. Exactly. Exactly. I know. I know. You, you came back bigger and stronger. Yeah. Like you just, you're like Jakey. Now I actually need you. <laughs> yeah. You think like you think me collapsing in the headset was me like like oh my god I'm shocked I'm trapped no because you blew me away because how beautiful you were. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, my first impression of you, I, I, so I think I saw some of your content beforehand, um, so I kind of knew what to kind of expect with oh, you, boy. but I was, I was, but Force wanted me to meet you. Force wanted me to be like, this is the person you gotta meet, <laughs> and I was like, Force. I was like, I was like, I know. <laughs> so. <laughs> So yeah, so that's why at the club you were there, and I was like, "All right, perfect time." It's like we we were talking, and you're like, you were like, um, you you said something about going on an adventure, and you said about going on adventures with me, and I was like, I was like, I'll go on as many adventures with you as you like. Yeah, and yeah, that's I remember. Where, like I, I remember. went into the deeper voice, and you're like. <laughs> That's crazy though. Um, it was actually uh -huh. before I asked APOC out. You became like a big part of the whole teasing. Like, I, like, do you remember? Uh -huh. Do you remember that whole phase? I, I that was so fun. I do, <laughs> my child loved that. My child, my I, child loved that. Yeah. Oh my god, it was so good. Mm -hmm. We 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 used to pick on you together. Yeah. We'd send you pictures of us hanging out, and we're like, "Guess what we're doing?" And you're like, "Oh no!" And then the hawk like, face. Don't worry. The hawk's face came into play. Uh -huh. Oh god. I don't have that face on this avatar. It's Perfect. just this one. I can only be happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. Oh no! You know what? I was like, I need to. I need to hit on this person. And I did, and uh, yeah, I got baited. I got baited. Force the oh, little shit. Force is sat there in full body. <laughs> She's very nice. You should see pics. Giving it all that. I mean, you are. You're beautiful. But that, that's not the point. Force is baiting me, and Aww. Force is playing it. I was like, wait, mm -hmm. there's something up with Force. Force is never usually. Force is always bullying me. So what's this about? What's this about? And then yeah. What's this about? Mm -hmm. And then I got hit by it. Got you yeah. good. It got me real good. Yeah. Got, me real got good. you good. Jakey becomes, you know, just the voice, girl voice, traps people, etc. Yep. Uh, fast forward to That's what I did. recent times. Jakey. Peace. Jakey. Jackie has found herself. You want to talk a bit more about that? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I'll comment a little bit on it. So... Um, I made an announcement on Twitter uh, with the announcement that I made on stream that um, throughout all this time of being a trap, I kind of, um, with my recent breakup and really getting the chance to be myself and do things that I couldn't beforehand, like in the relationship I was in, um, I kind of like you said, discovered myself in VR chat, and a lot of people were like, yeah, we were waiting for this, or we expected this, mm. we knew this was going to happen. Because, you know, for the past eight months, I've known all these people, 
that have literally only known me as a girl in VR chat. And yeah. even outside of streaming and stuff, I was a girl to them. And um, I never thought about it, but I, um, uh, whenever I, so I cosplayed my avatar at TwitchCon. Right. And at that moment, it wasn't, the best way I can describe it is like this. It wasn't that I ever lived my life uncomfortable as a guy. Yeah. It just became immensely more comfortable whenever I did go as a girl. And it was so, like, so relieving and so, like, a, such a different experience for me. Um, that, you know, I, I got while in VR chat when being a girl, but then I really, like, it hit me hard when I yeah. got to do it in real life. And people were so accepting, and people just cared about me being happy. And, it, you know, everyone thought it was a joke. And, you know, but people were like, wow, you do make a really cute girl and all this other stuff. And I was like, thanks. Um, I appreciate that. But then I got to really exploring it a bit more, and I came out about... Uh, being trans and yeah. wanting to kind of start the whole process for that. So if you come by my stream now, if you haven't in a while, um, I'm fully decked out, got my makeup done, got I'm all, all yes, nice queen, and pretty, whatever like that, or yes, <laughs> queen. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so it's it's been an adventure, and really, I you know I don't I don't look back at it in a negative course, way yeah. or anything. Really, I'm. I'm actually sad that I've been missing out on feeling like this all my life because I've been in a very neutral state for the majority of my life. And here I am finally X amount of years into living and I'm like, oh, wow, I haven't been living to its fullest potential. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when your friends are disapproving, it's like that's not fun. But yeah. my friends, I, I haven't had any problems with them. I went out to Portland not too long ago with yeah. Lauren Venerak and Shinikami. Yeah. And like L Lauren's face was more than enough to tell me how happy I was. Yeah. Cause yeah. like she was, we went, we went out and she, she would not stop looking at me and like smiling. And she's like, I just can't believe how much happier you look you compared do look to happier. what you looked at at TwitchCon. When I, when I, when I, when I, even when I see you on streams, you, you, you generally are happier. Oh my God. Ah. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so my last question about the topic um you know yes uh so you went through a process um what what's going to be like during the like, like a transition period i guess you could call it what's going to be next for you what's going to be the biggest hurdles you're gonna to have to face in future you think so um my biggest hurdle so i already told my family okay. um well, well that, i told that, my mom I can imagine okay. that being a big, big that big was one. yeah that was the big one. I come from a very rural, conservative, yeah, I can relate. middle of nowhere town. So it's it was very difficult to explain to my mom what I wanted to do. And um, I thought I did my best, but apparently I was told later I didn't. Even though I explained everything, I gave a bunch of metaphors and analogies, all this and that. And it still... <laughs> Like, right over her head. Like, she, there was no understanding it. She's like, I thought I was going to have grandkids. I thought this and that. You know, your life, you're ruining yeah. my life. And I'm like, I'm like, Mom, please. My life. <laughs> I'm True. sorry. So it, that that was the hard part. But um, I think the next hurdle is just going to be able, I I guess, to afford it. Oh, well, this isn't part of the questions. Not, but I'm just going to say my piece here. Jakey. Okay. You can change your skin color tomorrow, your race tomorrow, your creed, religion, whatever. But you're still the same beautiful, amazing soul I met all them months ago. I mean that. I'm sure APOC agrees. Yeah. You are. And you're loved. Thanks. I <laughs> love you. APOC loves you. Everyone loves you. I promise. Aww. Um, I'm going to just finish this off with what do you think the meaning of life is? What do I think the meaning of life is? Yeah. Um, being happy. Yeah. Um, whether that means whether whether that means like, and I don't mean like being like, it's it's hard to explain what I mean by this because I think a lot of it comes down to how 
I want to live my life, and I feel like that is the meaning. It's like my own personal meaning. I, I want to be happy without worrying and without, like, all these other problems or anything like that. Like, if it doesn't, like, directly impact me or anything, like, I don't usually worry about it. Um, like, I know a lot of people that live their lives worrying about things. My mom listens to the news, and she's like, oh, no, this tragic thing happened. My day is ruined. But, like, if it doesn't directly influence me, I'm like, eh. You know, it's like, so I don't actively look for things to upset me or disappoint me or anything like that. So I, I do everything that I can to make myself happy, and that's by making other people happy. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do is make people smile. I love being friends. I love talking. I love communicating with other people in the middle of the night, and people are asking. They're like, are you streaming? I'm like, no. They're like, why are you here? I'm like, hang out with you guys. And yeah. they're like... Oh, and you can hear a genuine happiness from them and like that that stuff that that makes me happy and so it's not ne necessarily making yourself happy but just happiness in general I think is a really good thing to live by um, and I have a lot to share so yeah. I'm, I'm a very lucky person where I feel like I'm never unhappy and if I have all this happiness and all this energy, APOC can tell you, I have a lot of energy, yeah. I can share it with everyone else. Yeah. And that's all. I just... I think that's going to conclude everything, actually. That's crazy. Oh my god. Thank you Me? for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, no problem. If you guys want to follow Jakey on Twitch, the links will be below on Twitter, on YouTube. I'll put everything below. I'm also going to put the link for Team Kinetic. <laughs> yeah. We're going to put a link uh, for, <laughs> for Team Kinetic. Uh, if you guys can click that page and follow every single one of them, that'd be great as well. Because these guys have helped me out through, throughout the months, throughout the year. Honestly, just, just constantly just being oh, amazing. Yeah. When I come on the game, they're there. Um, they've been wow. in my videos. I've entertained you guys. All right. So let's give something back a bit. And uh, yeah, no. You've been amazing. Can I get a hug, Jakey? Oh my god. Oh heck yeah. Come here. Do you wanna get Come in there, Apoc? Group hug. hug. Group hug. Get, get in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> so uh when are we going on that date? Uh